Well, I think the first thing to say is that this is a civil rights issue. Um, and civil rights are all, is all about equality. And we just talk, talked there about the marriage equality. And what is equality? Equality in a civil rights um, conversation is basically saying, I am entitled to the exact same equal rights as everybody else. And currently, the Eighth Amendment, that's what, that's what the Eighth Amendment stands for, is the equal right of the mother and of the baby. When you in any way tamper with the Eighth Amendment, what you are doing is you are singling out a cohort of people and you are saying, you don't have the same rights as everybody over here. And that, in my view, is inequality. It is not progression, it is regression. And just to put that in context, if we were to liberalise abortion, what you are talking about is, for example, in a local hospital, you may have a baby who is born prematurely at, say, 23, 24 weeks, which is the case in the UK. You can have an abortion right up to 24 weeks. If that baby is wanted, that baby will receive all of the goodwill and all of the medical assistance that Ireland can give it. And yet, if it is not wanted, it has no rights whatsoever. The other thing I'd like to say is that in 1967, when they introduced abortion in the UK, nobody, including um, the pro-choice groups, and you can read the parliamentary um, conversations and debates at the time, nobody wanted abortion on demand. What they wanted was abortion only in restrictive circumstances. Okay, And what happened was they thought that they had watertight um, legislation and procedures in place so that that would always be adhered to. So if you wanted to have an abortion, for example, you had to get the approval of two GPs. And what they found after was that the forms were being pre-signed. There is absolutely no way whatsoever, and no country in the world has been able to offer restrictive abortion. And I think what we, need, we talked about honesty and clarity. I think what we need to be clear about about here is that you know when you talk about all the different categories of people okay. who you will have abortion first and I'll just finish but you actually that's everybody right there is nobody that wouldn't be allowed to have an abortion Wait, particularly Shana, can I just be very clear, are there any circumstances fatal fetal abnormality for example incest right are there any circumstances which you believe should be allowed Okay, well, I suppose just to reiterate the point, it's either abortion in totality or not at all. Because you don't it can't believe be. there is a way to legislate restrictively there, for abortion. And no other country in the world has been able to do so. And if you listen to the politicians, they are not driving for it in restrictive circumstances. They are driving for it um, for abortion on demand.